Today we're going to be installing a retractable cord reel that hangs from the ceiling of your garage or wall or your basement or wherever you would like it. So today I'm going to be putting mine in the garage in between the vehicles. And just an overview on this, it's a 30 foot cord that comes with it that you can pull in and out. You have three outlets, a little power strip on the end. It's three plugs in there. 10 amps is the maximum you want to pull through this cord. So if you have anything powering over 10 amps, you might want to just plug it right into a wall plug socket. It's got a heavy duty mountain bracket included and adjustable cord stop. So you can let that cord hang down whatever measurement you want. So that's about it on the box here. This came from Lowe's Utilitech model. Zero two zero three three seven six. I okay, got everything out of the box now. So it looks pretty simple. We got the box. You got your unit here, where your plug's gonna plug in, and you got your three cord piece. It also has a LED indicator light, so when it powers on, that'll shine, letting you know you got power to the outlet. You got instruction manual. You got this simple little bracket with two screws I sent to mount it with into the stud. So first thing you want to do, check out this length is not really long. I'd say maybe 18 inches, two foot. So you need to make sure wherever you're plugging it, you need to be near a plug. So you're not hurting yourself there. All right guys, once you figure out where you want to mount this thing, this is your mounting bracket here. Just unscrew one side of this. Just give you an idea. That slides through the hole. It slides through. Right here, pin slides through there. So if you're on a wall mount, you're going to want to put it this way because you want to hit your studs. Your studs and your wall are going to be up and down. If you're in a seal mount, whichever way your truss is running, you want to make sure you're lined up with it. You don't want to be on the outside because you won't hit the truss. You want to be dead center of the truss. So if it's on the wall now, this unit will actually mount like this and the cord will pull out the front. While it's sitting on the wall and the ceiling it'll mount like that also but the cord will come straight down so we're gonna go ahead up there kind of show you how to find the joist real quick but also screws they send with this they're very small in diameter and just not don't look very sturdy to me so if you don't have anything else you could use them I guess they'll be okay because that's what they sent but looks really sketchy to me also when it goes through I would at least put a washer on it because the head could actually come through and you're gonna be pull pulling a lot of weight on that when you're pulling on that cord the whole weight is pulling on this so over time you could pull that out of I mean it should be fine because you're in a good solid stud but I'm gonna use a little bit bigger some number tens with a 5 16 head on it so I got my 5 16 cordless drill but if you're using the ones that came with it you're gonna need a Phillips the head. first thing I was telling you you gotta find a location so I actually wired this garage so I already had in plans of putting a pull down cord in the middle but most likely you don't have that option so typically you have a cord plugged in over your door opener and that would be my suggestion just run you a, a heavy-duty extension cord plugging into that outlet probably about six foot or so you don't want it too long then you can go ahead and wrap it around like I did there just to support it there. And then it'll plug into your cord reel that's going in the ceiling. So on here though, what I wanted to show you, you want to find a truss. So obviously when the garage guy put this door up, that's hitting the truss. You can also tell another way, like on the plug, there's got to be a choice on one side or the other. And we know since that screw is there, the joist is on this side. Same with the light fixture, you can kind of go by that. That's gonna be nailed on the side of a truss. So we got our truss location, but if you don't have that, which you probably won't, then you can use a drywall stud finder. If you have one, if you don't have one handy, then, or if you don't know how to use one, then you can go to the old school. Solid, it's hollow, solid. See how it sounds really hollow? 
saw in there. All right, so that gives you an idea, the old hand and knuckle trick. So that'll kind of give you an idea on when you feel that thing hit solid on your knuckles and you hear the sound change, that's where your joist is going to be. Right, sorry, I can't get a good angle on this, so I'm trying to do best I can. But I would go ahead and put this up to where you think you want it. Make sure it's going to work out before you mount it. So kind of mark the location so you know your cord will reach there. Sorry for the gut chuck. All right, sorry again for the angle here. Just don't know how to figure it out. But anyway, so you actually mark where you mark it where you think the joist is going to be, and where it's center, and where you want the device located. So this truss is going to be an inch and a half wide. So you want to be three quarter in on both sides because you want to be in the center of the truss for the maximum screw to hold in because you don't want to chip on the side of it it can break loose and then the whole thing falls on the floor so the best thing to do that take a hammer and a little nail and go ahead and sink it in you got a half inch of drop on the screw and you can hear when it gets solid so that's where you know you can okay see there we missed the trunk so i want to do that again over here and you can feel, there's the truss right there. So I'll just show you this for an example. But. Okay, let's go ahead and truss in. All right. So you want to take your tape measure. And you know that's the edge of it. So you want to be three quarters of an inch in. And it'll be an inch and a half. So the actual truss edge is here. And here, inch and a half, so it won't be three quarter in the center. So there's the center of our truck. So we're going to get our mount number. I'm using the 516s, but you can use the ones that sit with it. And you want to make sure you get in those two screws. You need to line up with your truss, so you're hitting right in the truss. So you can go ahead and put this where you've already predetermined the truss center in. And then you can go ahead and screw your screws in. First one here. And I'll make sure your bracket is straight. Alright, I apologize, you probably won't go see anything I'm doing here, but this screw is gonna go through the end here, through the bracket in the ceiling, and come out the other end, and then you put your other nut on top of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and slide it through the unit. I was starting the back one. I'm going to bring it through all the holes there. Go ahead and hold it in place. Make sure you screw both sides all the way in so it holds it really tight. So tight now. Oh, don't do like me. Make sure you plug it on the right side. That corresponds with your outlet here. So I'm gonna just flip this back around. Alright, sorry about all those bad camera angles, but Hopefully I won't be doing that anymore. But here you go, final product. You got it plugged in. Make sure you don't have a kink in your cord or you're pulling on it really hard. You want to have slack in it. So you don't want that to short out. And make sure both of those knobs there are secure and your screws in the ceiling are good, which mine aren't going anywhere. If you just want to come with it, you'll probably be fine. Just don't want to scare you. But here's what I don't, the instructions weren't very clear. But I'm assuming this stop here, the only way I can kind of figure it out. Because you want your cord hanging down, you know, when you, when you roll it back into the ceiling, you want to be able to grab your cord from the floor. So that's why this stopper can move. They did not show you how to move the stopper. But I found out if you just push on it really hard, 
it'll move up and down. So then you want to go ahead and adjust it to where you want it, where you can reach it when, it, when you're on the ground. And there's your LED light. So that's it. Looks like a pretty good product, pretty solid. Looks like it's built pretty good. I think it'll last for a really long time. So you got three plugs on the end, which is nice. So I think it's gonna be nice. I would give it a B. The mounting screws were a little too small in my opinion. And that's about it. Nice product. So hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully I help you out on the installation and a little review on the product here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Got a lot of other interesting stuff on there. And please subscribe to my channel. Need more subscribers. Need to try to hit a thousand, which is a big goal. So help me out. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.